how much of business is now conducted on WhatsApp. Well, WhatsApp flows enable us to take that to a whole new level. And I would say that every business should start to implement WhatsApp flows. Essentially, WhatsApp flows are just a form within WhatsApp, but it's what you can do after that form submission that gets exciting. So what you're looking at here is a make.com scenario for what we use when a new message comes in. And what you'll be provided with essentially is a smaller version of that um, and one that you can kind of very quickly get started and get stuck into. All right, well, let's see it in action first because I th always think it's easy to see it and then work backwards. So I'm gonna head over to my phone. WhatsApp flows are only available on mobile, so I can't use WhatsApp web. You're gonna see my phone screen pop up though now. And we're gonna start with a really simple message. It just says, hello. And I'm gonna get an instant response that says register with us which essentially is the start of our flow. And then I'm gonna be able to input my information. Can't spell my email address, look terrible. And I'm gonna press done. And then I'm gonna get a response saying thank you very much. So pretty cool, right? Um, now that seems really basic, but there's quite a bit going on in the background that we can talk through and walk through. But let's just dive in now to the scenario. Um, and just talk about a few different concepts and how it's going to apply for you. So first thing that you need to understand is the difference between a WhatsApp template message and we're going to call it a WhatsApp response message. Now a WhatsApp template message essentially is something that is pre-approved by Meta, Facebook, whatever they're called these days. And you can think of that as initiating a conversation. So if you wanted to initially speak to someone on WhatsApp, be it a marketing lead or, or whatever, it has to be a template. If you want to respond to something, it doesn't have to be a template. We're going to look at both of those options and we're going to start with the template option. So what you're going to need to do for that is you're going to need to head into um, the WhatsApp manager within business suite. And the first thing that you're going to be hit with when you're creating a template is the choice between marketing and utility. Again, it's pretty self-explanatory, but for example, marketing could be um, register, register for more information. Um, you just select flows and then press next. Now, this is where you can set your template up with body text, whatever I type in here, and the build is really good, really easy to see, a footer, etc. But the bit that we need to probably talk through is the flow setup. So go ahead and click create new. And I always like to start with just a custom form, I kind of like to do it myself. Now I really rate this builder, it's, it's good. Okay, so once we're in here, we can then sort of customize the text. So that's gonna be this section here. We can customize the screen title, so that could be welcome. You know, we could get quite snazzy with that. The bit that, the two bits I wanna show you here are the fields. So this could be first name, surname, etc., and we could build that out. But I think the cool bit here is um, that you can validate it. So it could be an email. And I think that's really important for when you're collecting data that you're actually getting really good data. Um, you can obviously add an opt-in, which is gonna be very important for making sure that these people actually wanna to speak to you and you can prove that, and that's part of GDPR. Um, the other thing here is screen names. So, um, Again, this is going to be a mobile form, so you don't want a thousand fields on one screen. So use different screens. So this could be inquiry, um, and then you can they can flip to the next screen, and it just feels a lot more usable in terms of a form. So that's it, and you can customize that to your heart's content. Um, but once you've created that, it will end up looking something like this, which is the message we received. And again, this isn't particularly sexy. Um, but it's super simple and easy to use and that's the flow that we triggered. All right, so once you've set up your template, now we're heading into make.com. And what I'm assuming here is that you're all set up with WhatsApp. So what I mean by that is that you've gone in here, you've followed the help guide, and this is really extensive. It's one of the best documentations I've seen. Um, and the bit that I wanna highlight here to you is the token because we're gonna need that for, for a little bit later. So once you've set up, don't just forget about your token, keep it, because we're gonna use it. So once that's set up, you'll end up with a webhook 
that triggers every time someone messages you. And then obviously you can take that data and do some quite cool stuff with it. All right, first module we see here is Google Sheets module. Now, the reason that we've got that here is I've just set it up as a basic bit of logic so that you can play around with it. But essentially we have the number, first name, surname, email, which is the fields that we saw within the flow. But this is the most crucial one for me. Have they completed the welcome form? Now, what I would strongly suggest is that you don't allow anyone to speak to you until they complete a form. Uh, and the reason for that is then you can prove that they have actually opted in to talk to you. So essentially, this automation is going to keep saying, complete the form, complete the form, complete the form. And until that form's completed, are we going to give them another option? Does that kind of make sense? Okay, then we've got authorization, and that's the token that I was just speaking about. So I'm not going to show you ours, but you can put that token um, directly in there, uh, and that will essentially give you authorization. This is the bit where you've got to concentrate a little bit. So essentially what we've done is mapped fields for you here. Uh, and the ones that I want to highlight for you are the template name. So that's going to be this name here, the template name. And the flow token. And the flow token is vital. So when I was setting this up, setting up all these different flows, but I couldn't figure out a way to send them in the right path. Uh, and that's where the flow token comes in. And, and you can see I've used template contact us here. And further down, you'll notice that we have the flow token that we're able to query from the, from the webhook response and say, okay, that person has completed that form, therefore go down this route. And you'll note that this one is different. And then finally, once those fields are set up, you don't really have to think too much about this. Uh, but essentially we map the JSON for you and this will all work providing that you've entered the correct details and that's going to be the thing that actually sends the message back to the person. All right, happy with that. That's super basic. The bit that I want to show you now is what happens when someone completes the form. So let's just walk it through one by one. Let me just run this once. So first thing, new message comes in. Let me send a new message. It searches through the sheets, it grabs the authorization, and then it sends the WhatsApp message. So I've just got the message that says, please complete the form. Then the user completes the form. So let me just go ahead and do that again now. Let me just keep this running. And this is where the flow token comes in, super handy. I'll try and spell my email address right, you're not gonna see it this time. When that comes through, you're gonna see now we head down this route and we've got a little bit of logic here that basically said the message type is interactive, whereas the logic up here is the message type is text and they haven't completed the welcome form. And again, you can build that logic out. This is basic um, and just get it giving you a starting point. Then the flow token is equal to template contact us. Now that's where what we put in here is so useful because we're relating that flow with that response and that is crucial i can't tell you how how long that took me to figure it out um, then we're sending a response and that's where makes normal modules are great um, because we can just basically customize it completely it's super easy to, to add what we want in there and finally now we're updating the master sheet and now you'll see that we've completed the the, the, the form and now if that person messaged again we could just say hey josh Thanks for your message, we've got your details, how can we help or, 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 or whatever. So that's that way and that's that route. And again, that's the template route. Now if I just delete my data out of here and we just disable this route and enable this route and just hit save. What we have this time is very much the same path, but instead of using a template, if we look in here, the fields we have are the body text and the footer text and the header text. So that means we've just got a bit more customization. We can basically send responses and customize them within here as opposed to having to edit that template every time. There's a few more fields. You'll see the flow token there and you'll see the flow ID. I'll see if I can show you whether that is. So have I got that up? Okay, so you can get that. I'm not gonna show you just because you can see all of our flows and I don't wanna share that with you. But essentially, if you click on flows in there, you'll see it's the first thing that comes up. Just copy and paste that in there. It's really, really easy. 
customize your message, uh, and then essentially same thing with map these fields. Uh, and this time, if we run it, I'm not going to go through it, but essentially this time we'll go up this path and it will get an individual message as opposed to a template message. That's kind of the only real change. Um, the other thing here is that we can basically build out our own form without the needing to go through templates. So within here, within account tools and flows, and that's where you can get the flow ID, by the way. Within here, essentially, and I will share this with you so you can start, we can just build the form from here. Yeah, so if I want to change the label for the first name, I know to, oh, I've got it, sorry, I've already published this form. But if I want to want to change it, I can just edit it in, within here and it will automatically edit. And, and that's a really fast way of creating these flows. Now, what I want you to finally think about is the possibilities here. So if we look over to this section, it gives you a kind of an idea of the things that we're doing based on people's responses. And what you can start to think about is, can I offer excellent customer service? You know, if someone's got an inquiry, get them to stick their order reference or whatever in there. You can pull that order reference up for them, send them a customized email around that. Use some AI logic to throw in some specific um, customized emails and notify certain team members. So for example, if it was an after sales inquiry, notify your after sales team. If it's a pre-sales inquiry, notify your sales team. So it's really, really exciting. And, and the bits that you're gonna get is you're gonna get this section here. So you'll be able to download that, stick that straight in make, pop your authorization in, start testing and start playing with it. The other thing that I will share is this, which is an example form. So you can just literally copy and paste, put this in here, press run, and you've got your flow ready to go. Your flow ready to go, is that right? Um, you can set your spreadsheet up however you need it. But I would just say, spend some time on this, build this out, and you could get really, really advanced. And we know that customers love interacting on WhatsApp. Let me know how you get on and good luck with it.